Hey guys, let's do this problem right here. Here this question is asking, use infinite series to evaluate the indefinite integral integral cos x cube dx, right? Now, whenever we have questions like this, to evaluate this one in, in terms of indefinite integral, what we have to do is we have to convert this one into this pattern first and then do the integration and give the final answer in this pattern. That's going to be the main question, right? That's the question. Now, this is something you should remember, or you can derive using Maclaurin series pattern. Like Maclaurin, you have to try some derivative and bring this pattern. But if you remember this one, everything becomes easier because all we have to do is just switch the values, right? You, you will see how we are going to do it. So, here the first thing is we have to swap this x cube with this x because cos x is this value. So cos x cube is going to be, we are going to have x cube power 2n. Now let's write that one down. We, let's find cos x cube first and then multiply by x. So first cos x cube dx, not dx, just take cos x cube and let's see, let's find that one out first. So first we are going to have summation notation n is equal to 0 to infinity negative 1 power n and here instead of x we are going to plug x cube so that's going to, that's the one that's going to change now here we are going to have x cube power 2n divided by 2n factorial right now th this is the first step now what we have to do is we have to multiply this one by x if I multiply this one by x x cos x cube is same as multiplying this one by x. So here what we can do is we can you can multiply front or back, it doesn't matter where you multiply. So now let's to make this one clear, let's put a bracket and multiply. n is equal to 0 to infinity, negative 1 power n, x power if I combine this one that's gonna give us x power 6n right and then in the denominator we are going to have 2n factorial now we have multiplied this cos x cube by x so here other side we have to do the same thing we have to multiply this one with x right and if you see we have x power 6n already and if you multiply this one this is going to add to this power so that's going to give us 6n plus 1 right so instead of writing like, like this we can combine these two together and write it as summation n is equal to 0 to 1 I mean not 1 infinity negative 1 power infinity I mean oh my God, negative 1 power n x power 6n plus 1 over 2n factorial now we have found this pattern now the question is asking to integrate this one right now if I integrate this one what's going to happen is integral cos actually x cos x cube integral x cos x cube is going to be integration of summation n is equal to 0 to infinity negative 1 power n x power 6n plus 1 over 2n factorial right now let's put dx here also we have put dx right let's put dx right here and not power d you know let's rewrite this one integral x cos x cube dx right now here what we have to do is when we so this is same as integrating this one so when we integrate this one the only thing that's going to change is this one because the x is related to only this one, right? That's why this is the only one is going to be integrated. So the integration is going to be like this. Summation n is equal to 0 to infinity and negative 1, others are going to remain the same. Negative 1 power n, x power 6n plus 2, right? Because we are adding one more to the power and we have to divide by that power. So here we are going to have 2n factorial times 6n plus 2 
plus constant. That's going to be the final answer. I hope this helps. Thanks for watching.